we would like to acknowledge the land on which we gather is the occupied territory of the Iowa, Sakan Meskwaki, Wapatan, and Sioux people. The goal of Fort Upon Iowa is to make photos as accessible and searchable as possible. We have tried to create a beautiful interface to make searching enjoyable, engaging, and easy to use. Here is a basic orientation to the interface. How to explore. There are many ways to explore the Fort Upon Iowa portal. Use the advance arrow to go backwards and forwards, one photo at a time. Use the timeline indicator to jump across decades. Use the thumbnail timeline to jump to any visible thumbnail image. Use the double arrow to browse ahead. Click once to advance many images at a time. Or use the double arrow to crawl slowly through the thumbnail images. Hold down on the double arrow icon. You can toggle between timeline view and grid view here. Or explore the new recently uploaded photos by clicking on the little star in the upper right hand corner. How to search. Click the search bar at the top center of the screen to search by tag, category, dates, contributor, location, ID number, and or a keyword. You can select multiple items. For example, you could search for all the photos contributed by the Anamosa Library and Learning Center, dated 1900 to 1902, that are in the children category and have a bow tag. How to create an account. While Fort Upon Iowa is free to access, many features such as tagging and the My Lists feature become available when a user creates an account. In the upper right hand corner of the interface, click the lock icon. At the bottom of this panel, click Need an Account. You will come to the following dialog box. Enter your email address and password, check the CAPTCHA box, and select Register. Look for an email from Fort Upon Iowa to verify your email address and finish setting up your new account. You will know when you are logged in when you see the lock change to a little person icon in the upper right hand corner. How to access information about a photo. Click on the info button on the bottom right of every photo to access the info box. Here you will find all of the recorded information about a photograph such as the date, location, donor, photographer, scanner, comments, category terms, and tags. Tags record the subject matter of a photograph and connect it to similar photos across the archive. We look to our users and the general public to help us tag images. Exploring these tags, or tag surfing as we call it, is a great way to discover the richness and depth of the Fort Upon Iowa archive. Give it a try and see what you can find. How to create a tag in the front end. To add a tag, click the info icon in the bottom right corner. In the center of the dialog box, click the plus sign labeled Add New Tag. A text box will appear. Enter your tag into it and hit the plus sign to save. If you're not logged in, it will prompt you to do so now. To learn about the do's and don'ts of tagging, we recommend you watch the last half of Backend Orientation, the sixth video of this webinar series, or refer to the digital handbook. How to download a photo and copy the attribution. Click on the download icon. Click the download button to download the photo. Copy the automatically generated attribution to attribute the photo. You will note that all photos are licensed to the Creative Commons with a CC BYSA license. All photos should be attributed accordingly. How to share and embed a photo. Click on the share icon. To share, select the appropriate icon and copy the code. To embed any version of the portal into another website, select an embed option and copy the code. For more information about embedding, be sure to watch the 8th video in this webinar series, or go to page 40 of the Digital Handbook. How to create a customized list. Creating a list is great for saving photos to visit later, similar to Pinterest. These lists could be used to organize photos to use in projects, make your own photo exhibit, or just collect photos that spark joy. You will need to be logged in to create or add to a list. Start by finding a photo you want to save to a list. Then, in the lower right corner of the photo, click the bookmark icon. This will open a box with two panels. The left is for creating a new list, and the right will show all the ones you've made already. To make a new list, enter a title in the left-hand text box and hit Add. To add to an existing list, select which one this photo should go to and hit Save. 
To view your saved lists, click on the profile icon in the upper right corner of the screen. How to use the autoplay and full screen functions. To view the interface in full screen, click the icon with two diagonal arrows in the upper right corner. To exit full screen, click the same icon again. You can zoom when you are in full screen. To automatically play photos, click the arrow in the upper right corner next to the full screen icon. The icon will change to a pause icon. Click that to stop the autoplay. Autoplay and full screen can be used at the same time. For more information about the Fortipon Iowa interface, please refer to the digital handbook.